Uh, man, I still have so much camera gear laying around here, even though last year I sold a bunch of stuff. I've been doing this for 15 years now, and let me tell you, you can buy a lot of stuff in 15 years. Wow. But the thing is, 90% of the stuff that I still have here in my studio now, I also actually don't really need to do my job as a content creator or videographer for YouTube, but also for simple client work. I don't need most of the gear that I have. There's just a few tools, a few pieces of gear that I use all the time. And those are the ones I really need. So let me show you what those are. If you're not sure what to buy, get these things first. And look, there's no drone on the list because I don't need a drone. But if your goal is to become a drone videographer, obviously you're gonna need a drone, duh. I just wanna show you that you can get really far with some budget essentials. Because I know that a lot of people get discouraged when they realize how expensive everything is. So, you know, what's important here is the message I want to send into the world with this video. The difference between what you need and what you want. But anyway, it's starting to get a little bit too preachy, so here's the first one. Lenses. Okay, look, the 35mm Prime is and will probably always be my favorite lens, but it's not ideal for beginners in my opinion. And honestly, in the last few months, I've been using a different lens a lot more often. This one, the Tamron 17-28mm 2.8. A lot more versatile, I use it for vlogging as well as simple client shoots and personal work. Now, I know what some of you are thinking now, is the 28mm on the long end not too wide still? Don't you need a few more millimeters? Me personally, no. If now I had to choose just one lens when I started all this, I think it would be this one. But I get that for some people it's not long enough, just keep in mind that if you want to do a little bit of everything, also vlogging, you're gonna need those 17, 16 millimeters on the wide end so that you don't have to stretch your arm all the way whenever you're vlogging, because that's really annoying. And that's 16 or 17 millimeters on full frame. So if you're shooting a crop sensor, you're gonna have to go even wider, ideally. Next is an ND filter or a set of ND filters or a VND, variable ND filter, so that you can lower the exposure without having to adjust the camera settings. So that you can shoot at wide apertures in the bright sun for example, and still have that nice blurry background, you know? And it's not so much about the blurry background, it's all about having control over the camera settings. Because of course I know that you can increase the shutter speed if you want to lower the exposure, and for a vlog or for your YouTube channel, that's fine. But don't do that if you're shooting something for a client, for example. Get an ND filter, even if it's just to learn how to use them. Because if at some point you decide to get more serious about it and you end up on a professional set, for example, with a real cinema camera, that camera will have NDs built in. And so do not, I repeat, do not increase the shutter speed to lower the exposure on a professional set. Okay, and then of course you also need a microphone. And the biggest mistake I made is, well, you know how everybody is always talking about how audio is more important than the image quality, especially here on YouTube? I agree to a certain extent, but in my mind, when I started, I thought that meant buying an expensive microphone. I bought the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, that every content creator back then was recommending. 300 bucks, maybe even a bit more when I bought it. And I think it's okay, but I also think that it's very much overrated. Because later on, I decided to go for something smaller, something more compact, and I bought the Deity D4 Duo for 100 bucks. And in my opinion, that microphone is 10 times better. I've used it in the studio, but also for vlogging, for example. So yes, you need a microphone, but no, it doesn't have to be an expensive one. A tripod. You're gonna need a tripod. Uh, look, I'm still using an old Manfrotto. It's actually a photography tripod, 15 years old, not ideal, but it works. But you know, if you're planning to buy something new and you're doing videography, maybe it's better to buy one of those fluid head tripods. But definitely get a tripod because you're gonna need it. And then finally, some lighting. Now, of course, it all depends on what you want to do. Do you want to do vlogs or commercials, client work, videos like this in a studio? It all needs different lighting. So let me just show you what I use 90% of the time. And my whole setup was around 200, 250 bucks. That's it. I have the Godox LL60W there. 
the main light it's pretty old already. I'll link some newer options in the description also. Then I also have one cheap medium sized LED panel and one small LED panel. And that's all you need to get started. That's it. So again, I just want to show you that you can get really far with a limited amount of gear and a limited budget. You don't need L glass or G master lenses, not at all. Not even for client work or well, definitely not for YouTube. You definitely don't need an $8,000 setup to get started and to start making money even. These days, there are so many possibilities for content creators and videographers, photographers. Everyone can get there with a limited budget, trust me. And of course, you also need a camera that was not in the list. You also need some SD cards, an extra battery maybe, a computer to edit. But again, the message here, the message of this video is more important than each individual item on this list. Because I know how expensive it is. But I'm also convinced that you can make it, you can get there with a limited budget. Okay, this is starting to turn into a motivational speech. Time to end. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.